support device management for large enterprises. Today, we're introducing a concept that we call the Company Hub. This is really just an app, but it's an app that allows each company to personalize the experience for their employees. They control the app, they control the experience, but, each, but they can actually decide which applications to highlight and to communicate. Now, let me make this concrete by giving you an example of what Microsoft's IT department has put together for Microsoft employees. Again, I want to remember, this is just an example. Every application, every enterprise can customize it in their own way. So as you can see here, I'm on my start menu, so I'll click on my you know, I'm a Microsoft employee, so of course I'm going to have Microsoft IT right here on my phone. So I launch my application. Comes up here, and they've decided the first thing to do is show me the apps that I've installed. And so I have a few apps here that I've installed, you know, some typical line of business applications. I can scroll over, and they've decided to highlight a few applications that I may want to install, like for taking time off. Then they have some headlines, just to give me some news from the company. And of course, like every IT department, they must have an alert center to tell me to change my password, or tell me to get an update, or some communication. They also have a self-service IT area where it kind of has my profile information. We have a feature at Microsoft that allows us to change our Outlook picture. So we can customize it, you know, where everybody can see kind of a picture of us or some funny little cartoon or whatever we choose. However, it's tough to do it on an intranet using a PC desktop. I don't always have a camera, you know, it's not really set up right. They can now enable this through our phone. So they can get the advantage of making the work that they've done in our backend infrastructure available to their employees in a way that's easy for employees to use that on our phone. So they can make it here, I got a camera, I can easily just change it and update it and it's seen everywhere in Outlook. Now let me kind of show you installing an application experience. So I'm thinking maybe, you know, I've been here a couple days, maybe I'll stay here and enjoy San Francisco a bit more. So let me do the uh, Microsoft time off and see how much vacation I have. So here you'll see, I clicked on it, it allowed me to present an install screen. For end user consistency, this looks like a standard install screen, but this actually is completely customizable by every company. So now I'll click install. The application will come. This is, all, this is not going through Microsoft's marketplace. Microsoft is not actually, you know, our Windows Phone part of Microsoft has not been touched. It only goes to Microsoft's IT infrastructure. And now the application is installed. And I can just launch that and see, okay, do I have any vacation or not? Um, yep, I have enough. I think I'll take some time. Hey, Joe, I'm taking some time off in the next couple days. So just there's an example of Microsoft's IT application. Again, I want to emphasize, that was just built by Microsoft's IT department, and we will provide a set of templates and guidance so that each company can customize that experience for themselves and decide how best to service their employees with their apps. There are six things that I want you to remember from our talk today. First, better hardware faster, because we have the same shared Windows core, which allows hardware partners to leverage and build optimized drivers. Two, amazing games are coming to Windows Phone 8 because of native code support. We are improving our multitasking, so you can get more out of your phone by being able to do multiple things at once. Talk with your apps. We are providing a complete speech platform to make apps go to the next level with speech. More ways for developers to make money with in-app purchase. And last, Windows Phone 8 is enterprise ready. Now, as a developer, I always want to know when can I get my hands on code so I can play with it, look at it, really feel it, know what it does. Later this summer, we're going to make available our SDK for developers to download, and we'll also have a series of developer events so they can learn in depth a lot more. I've only given a high level overview, but developers want a lot more nuts and bolts talk about how they write the applications and exactly what the APIs are, and they can attend those events. Thank you, and now I'd like to wel welcome Terry Meyerson back to the stage.
There's so much to look forward to with Windows Phone 8. Well, let's talk about the hardware. When we launch Windows Phone 8, our first devices will be available from four hardware OEMs. Nokia, Huawei, Samsung, and HTC. All of their devices will be built on next-generation silicon from Qualcomm. We've been working with these partners for some time, and I'm very happy to share that I believe we will have the best device lineup we've ever had before. And these devices will be available all over the world. Windows Phone 8 is a truly global platform. Be available in 50 languages with an application marketplace that supports downloads in over 180 countries. For those of you keeping count, that is 25 more countries than Apple announced last week. And when we go into a country, we aspire to do much more than a translation. We aspire to deliver a deeply local experience to our customers there. Consider Arabic and Hebrew, where we have fully mirrored the experience right to left, unlike other platforms where there is only a translation available. And let's talk about software updates. This is an area where our entire ecosystem has been challenged. OEMs, operators, platform vendors, getting new software on devices has been a challenge. But we have been working with our partners on how we might do this. Is there a, can we find a path that really puts the consumer's interest first? And I believe we have found that with Windows Phone 8. The first step on that path, all software updates for Windows Phone 8 will be delivered over the air. There will be no more... <laughs> there will be no more searching for a USB cable to tether to your PC to update your device. Secondly, Microsoft will support every device with updates for 18 months from the launch of that device. At least 18 months. And last but not least, Microsoft will have a program that lets registered enthusiasts to get early access to updates before any broad consumer push. You put all, you put all this together, and I believe Windows Phone 8, Windows Phone 8 devices will be more up-to-date and fresher than ever before. Now, if you take into account everything that you've heard about today, we believe Windows Phone 8 will be the most modern smartphone platform available. Windows Phone 8 supports new multi-core chips, new graphics cores, new multimedia cores, new modem architectures, new screen resolutions, removable storage, encrypted storage, NFC, and more. Windows Phone 8 is a generation change in our platform. And because of this, Windows Phone 8 will not run on existing devices. We care very deeply for our Windows Phone 7.5 customers. And because of this, I'm happy to share today that we are creating an update for our Windows Phone 7.5 customers that brings to them what we believe is the marquee feature of Windows Phone 8, the new start experience. And this is not all that Windows Phone 7.5 customers will get. To talk about their ongoing commitment to our Windows Phone 7.5 customers, I'd like to invite up on stage Kevin Shields, Senior Vice President of Nokia. Hey, thanks Terry. Hey, good morning. Uh, my name is Kevin Shields. I lead product and program management for the Nokia Lumia range at Nokia. Wow, Windows Phone 8 looks terrific. You know, our Nokia Lumia customers have been and continue to be delighted by the, by the Windows Phone experience. And I want to thank Microsoft for the opportunity to be here today to participate in the next evolution of this great experience. 
At Nokia, we are excited about the new generation of hardware that Windows Phone 8 will unlock. We believe these advancements, these advancements will further, invest, for, further fuel investment in the Windows Phone ecosystem. And it validates our decision to partner deeply with Microsoft on Windows Phone. As Terry mentioned, this morning I want to tell you how we at Nokia will not only bring the best of our innovation to Windows Phone 8, but also, thanks in part to great application compatibility, to our existing range of Nokia Lumia devices as well. Today, Nokia is announcing a number of new applications and a wave of innovation for our current Lumia customers. Somebody about there needs to advance the slide for me. Thank you. These new experiences will come to our new Nokia Lumia devices starting next week and then progressively over the ensuing weeks around the world. <clears throat> Excuse me. They start with a DLNA app we call Play2. Uh, Play2 makes it easy for me to stream my photos, music, and personal videos to DLNA-compatible devices, including many big-screen TVs today. Nokia Counters is an app that responds to the, a big piece of feedback we've gotten from our Nokia Lumia customers that they really want an easy and intuitive way to help them track their data, voice, and messaging usage. We're releasing a new version of our highly acclaimed Nokia music, music application, the app that lets you play great streams of music uh, in really interesting mixes without any login or setup. It just plays right out of the box. And we're improving our gig finder to, to help you find live, live local performances for the artists you love most. And we're making it easier to create great mixes that you can download and play offline later. And of course, at Nokia, we continue to innovate on camera and, camera and imaging. Today, we are announcing four new camera extensions that we collectively call camera extras. They work together to effectively upgrade the core camera experience. These include a simple self-timer, an action shot extension that takes a burst of images and makes it really easy to step back in time to find the image that really captures the moment you wanted to remember. We're releasing a panorama maker that, that sort of playfully guides you through the process of capturing the perfect series of images that can be stitched together to create a beautiful panorama. And to, to, to help show you the last of our four extensions, I'm going to invite Joe and Kevin back here on stage to tell you about something we call Smart Group Shot. Smart Group Shot helps to solve the problem when you take a picture of a bunch of people a lot of times somebody's eyes are closed or they're not smiling. And you, what you really wanted was sort of a mashup of a set of pictures. Um, so what I'm going to do here is you can see our four, our four camera extras. I'm going to start up Smart Group Shot. And I'm going to use Tweedledee and Tweedledum here uh, to show you how this works. So with Smart Group Shot, I can start taking an image. OK, guys, happy face, sad face, surprised face. It smells bad face. Great. OK, thanks. Smart Group Shot captures a series of images and then processes these images to find faces. It then analyzes the faces to pick the best expression for each person in the picture. Finally, it assembles all of those images into a blend, into a single image that captures the, the best out of everyone. We built Smart Group Shot with a company called Scalato. Scalato is the company that did the Nokia, Nokia Creative Studio. We'll get back to that in a second. Uh, they built a Nokia Creative Studio that's available for the Nokia Lumia range today. We recently announced that our intention to buy or to acquire the people and technology of Scalato because of their expertise in image processing. It's that expertise that lets me do something like this, where I can tap Joe's face. Pick the image that I think most represents the moment, and now I get to remember this great standing up here on, on stage with Joe and Kevin. Okay, as Joe referenced earlier, Nokia is a leader in mapping and navigation as well. And today I'm happy to announce that we're bringing updates to all three of our core transportation and navigation applications.